Hi. I am finally going grocery shopping. Um, I was gonna go yesterday on Monday, but we had to take my cat uh, to the vet unexpectedly. Um, and it's just, it, these last few days, so much has been going on. Um, and I'm, I'm wiped, I, I'm wiped. They, my cat has a small like blueberry sized lump and it's a round cell tumor and blood tests are inconclusive. You know, like her, her counts are like normal. So they want to do lots of other tests, but she's 15. So they're like, or you just don't and you let nature take its course and they're not listening because she has rapid weight loss and they're not taking into account her severe food issues with the new food. I don't, it's just been a whirlwind, like 48 hours. Um, and we just feel our vet is like, she's 15. So do you want to do anything? And it just, that makes me feel ick. Um, so we have that. And then, um, my husband's former job, um, the human resources person who usually when he was employed there was really good at getting back to him about, you know, um, through email and phone call. And he's been calling and emailing because we are still owed reimbursement for things he paid out of pocket for, for the facility. Don't get me started. And, um, as well as being paid out for his PTO days. Haven't gotten any of that money and no word when it's gonna be and no return communication about it. And then with the new job, the district inadvertently, when they started up his like account, they reactivated his old account when he was at a charter school. So he couldn't access anything because he's not at a charter school. So he couldn't access anything for teaching and he couldn't access anything for the, you know, employment. And we learned that what we were told his salary would be was inaccurate and not in our favor. And it's just, I'm done. I am so done. Um, not to mention our, our internet went up and it's just, it's, it's, it's just nonstop. It's just nonstop. It just feels like at every turn, there's something. <laughs> My husband stopped and got me an iced coffee on the way home because we found with my anxiety, some people caffeine, it makes them jittery, but um, we did like a study for a couple weeks and caffeine actually helps my anxiety. Um, and I try to limit my caffeine intake. I have a normal rapid heartbeat. Um, but he stopped and got me an iced coffee on the way home because at three in the morning, I started having a panic attack um, and I, I, I tried to maneuver it by myself for as long as I could and I woke my husband up at five and I and I didn't want to because we get up for the day at 545 and um, I'm tired. So I've been awake since three on top of it being two hours of a panic attack. So I'm just, I'm wiped, I'm wiped. Um, so this coffee is, trying to just help my nerves because I'm done <laughs> don't cry don't cry <laughs> I can't go in with a stuffy nose into Aldi I can't do it <laughs> anyway the new grocery shopping day is gonna be Monday um, I decided even with the new schedule with my husband teaching I don't want to eat up time on the weekend going grocery shopping and he gets home now at a better hour. He didn't today because he's been making so many phone calls and he had a meeting after school. Um, it's six o'clock now. Normally he's hoping to get home at four, which is perfectly fine for grocery shopping. But just as we think the goings are getting a little easier, it, it, it's still choppy, but that's life for everyone. I really don't know of anybody right now who is smooth sailing in any way, shape or form. Um, and that's a shame. That's a, that's a shame. Okay. My, oh my, this is a Debbie Downer starter to the video, but let's get shopping because gosh darn it. We need hash browns. We are out of hash browns and I'm at my normal Aldi this week. Not the different one I went to last week. So hopefully they have what we need. Let's get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, don't laugh at me, but I literally switched to a parking space, like a different one, because my car looked like the heavens had opened up to beam it. It was so blaring bright that I moved a couple spots over. I'm that type of person, but we finished. Okay, I literally texted my husband because I was like, is there a hurricane coming? Because my store was like a war zone hit it. So much was out of stock. There was like a waiting line to get toilet paper. I was like, okay, what have I missed? In the midst of everything going on in my brain, what news catastrophe did I miss um, in our area? I know there's plenty of catastrophes going on, but I was like, is there a hurricane? He's like, no. And I'm like, then I don't know what's going on here. My goodness. My little panic juice. Okay. So they didn't have hash browns. They didn't even have a spot for it. Tell me. Aldi shoppers, are you going through a hash brown drought again? Because, oh no. Um, they didn't, I got the last package of grapes. Finally, they had grapes. Um, they had no blackberries. They didn't have many cucumbers. I got the last package of cherry tomatoes. I'm like, what's, what's going on here? Um, they didn't have pretzel rods. I don't, I don't know. It was just very strange. A lot of stuff that I wouldn't buy even they were out of. They only had one flavor of creamer. It was bizarre, but i um, thankful they have food for us to get. You have to look at it that way. Um, but let's look at the receipt and see our total for this week. This week came to $140.24. I'm having to buy more food for lunch for my husband because with his old job, he either ate lunch there because he could get lunch from the kitchen. Oftentimes, he didn't even eat lunch. Um, that'll make its way into my little video series. Sometimes he didn't even get any type of lunch break. He, he couldn't. Um, so I'm buying more things for him for lunch because we were only eating lunch at our house. Me, my son, my daughter, and my mom. And now I got another little mouth to feed my husband. Um, and stuff that doesn't need to get microwaved because he doesn't have access to a microwave right now. I mean, he could, but he would lose his entire lunchtime schlepping to it. And um, our microwave broke, so we're using my husband's old school microwave right now. Um, so yeah, um, let's play the game. What's What was most expensive and what was least expensive? Well, we got Coke and a paper product and the paper product won because all the paper products doubled in price again. What was like six and change is now $13.99. And for whatever reason, this particular 12 mega roll was on sale for $9.99. So that came in at the most expensive this week. And the least expensive was, um, what is this? My little three pack of yeast coming in at 75 cents. So it even beat out the bananas. So um, that's the story. I'm sorry this was not a more cheerful video, <sighs> but I'm going to go home now and um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, let me know how you're doing. Um, it's funny though, when the goings get rough in my neck of the woods, I always start thinking about everyone else even more. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing okay. And I will talk to you later. Bye.